best time to pray is when you're sleepy. The best time to pray is when you feel depressed, when you don't want to talk to God. Stand yourself for that one hour and then that is the most dry prayer in the world. And they are the most strongest prayer in the spirit. When you feel highly disconnected from God in the natural is when you are over highly extremely connected in the realms of the spirit never judge your connectivity within your emotional and sentiments and feelings of the body we lose that because we need some emotions to enable us to ascend and pray sir when you feel nothing that's when to stay in prayer let me tell you something if you have a wrong concept of prayer you will struggle to pray but if you have the right revelation of prayer you will pray even as often as possible you know why because you have the right understanding of prayer now let me give you a simple definition of what prayer is now there are different definitions of okay so don't just limit the definition to one just see this as one of the ongoing definitions of prayer the first purpose for prayer can be traced to why God created you getting to know why God created a man and what you were created would advance your commitment to prayer. For instance, God made man in his image after his likeness. And ultimately, God created man to tabernacle in him and to have fellowship with him. So that's the purpose for God creating all of us. He made us for his pleasure he created us to tabernacle in us and he created us to have fellowship with us that's the purpose for your creation and because this is what god intended for your creation prayer becomes a necessity a priority and a mandatory action in order to stay within your calling and walk in your creative calling. So with that prayer, you have disaligned or you have gone out of alignment with that which God had intended for your creation. So prayer is what keeps a man in tune with the very purpose for which God created him. The most effective prayer that is going to unlock the heavens and bring an earthquake that will shake our entire world is when the corporate body of Christ comes together to worship Yahweh. So the strongest attack of the devil against the body of Christ is division. How to break this division is to return back as ecclesia, as a nation of God, as a people, not as a not as a denomination, but as a people. And we and uh, we 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 don't unite on earth. We unite in the realms. We unite in the heavenly realms, not here. And you are not, going, you're not supposed to die to unite. God told me that a time is going to come through your message that 95% of the body of Christ will start ascending into the realms of visions. And that's where we meet. That's our meeting point. 